Hello and welcome to another of our tutorials. In this video we're gonna look at how to basically save your battery by reducing your CPU usage on laptops and tablets etc. Okay, basically it involves installing these two keys okay or manually entering in the data okay now I'll just open them up for you basically as you can see there's nothing in here okay it's basically just a simple registry attribute okay that's being set that will then allow, allow you to change your CPU now if I was to go into control panel I'm sh showing this on the server version it works on Windows 10 notebooks laptops etc there's no problem okay and then just type in power normally on a notebook you'd have it over here your little battery or your power icon but we're doing this on the server for the demo version so there we go all right balanced or any option is not a problem change advanced power settings and you will see by installing these two what has happened is i now have processor power management where I have minimum and maximum processor. If I was to change the setting down to, shall we say, 30, okay, which is what is something that we use on our Surface Pros, you know, it makes the battery last a lot, lot longer, you know, unless you're using some heavy video editing, in which case you just come back here and bring it back up to 100%, okay? So that is what it gives you. It, it'll add these two registry entity. Now, the way to install it is you should find these two files within the description. Okay, and you just download them, download them to your desktop or anywhere. And then all you do is just double click on it. If you don't trust what's in it, you can click edit first, look at it. Okay, make sure it's all the same. Okay double click on it click yes click OK and that's just adding an entry into your registry same thing with this okay and double click on it and it okay now I'll just minimize that okay if you need to basically go and get rid of this key if you need to change it for example all you need to do is just go here Type in reg edit, same on Windows 10. It'll open it up. I have already gone there, but I'll just minimize this so that you can see. So H key local machine system. So H key local machine system, then current control set, current control set, and it's control, control, then it's power settings. Okay power settings then you find that key 54533 okay there we go that's it up to the D00 make sure you get every single number correct because sometimes you might have keys that look almost the same but a little bit different and then you have another key 893 DEE -E, which is 893 DEE -E, and then it's 64D let's just make sure Okay, that is 64C. So I need the other one, which is 64C. There you go. What you'll see for that registry entry, it's now created an attribute. Okay, and it gave it a value of 2, just as what we have set over here. So attributes D word and 2. Okay, attributes D word two. If you ever want to get rid of this at any point, all you really need to do is just right click on that and then delete. Okay, and you get rid of that, or you could change the number and change it to a zero, for example. Okay, so now with this, you then on a laptop, you would just click on that power button. Okay. Or in this case, you go to control panel and then go to change advanced power settings. Okay. And then you go to power processor management. 
Okay, and then maximum processor, change that to a number that works for you. 30 works for us, okay. You might want to do 50, you might want to do 25, 10, 15, whatever, depending on what you're doing. Minimum processor, you can have it at 5, you can have it at 3, 2, we've used it all the way to 0. Okay, and by changing these numbers, you will find that your computer actually lasts a lot longer on its battery than normal. Okay, so hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.